Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Hashing in and the Catchy in the Cloud. The title is extract from the parallel and distributed system in the cloud. The cloud server and the provider whose are increasing day by day. The user need the service from the cloud provider and the provider borrow the money from the user for their service. The user need high service performance and minimum cost for the service. At the same time, the provider reduce the cost and increase the service performance. If the provider does not and this, they lost many user. In this paper, explain about this limitation. In earlier, the cloud provider using built-in memory for user. This is not performing well. So, we introduced the catchy memory to give the reliable performance to the user. The use of local volatile memory as catchy might be a natural alternative, but many well-known restrictions such as capacity and utilization of host machine hinder its effective use. We present the catchy as a service model as an optional service to typical infrastructure service offering. The cloud provider assigns a large pool of memory that can be dynamically partitioned and allocated to standard infrastructure services as disk catchy. It acts as an elastic catchy memory system like a remote memory database. In that catchy memory, more number of users can access the memory at the same time. It allocates the memory to the user till their usage on the cloud. That means the memory allocated in dynamically on the catchy. In this paper, show that the Pricing detail and service performance on the catchy in the cloud. Finally, we improve the service performance on the service provider side and enhance the user profit for only their usage on the cloud. Now the data flow diagram of our project. The data flow diagram has three levels, level 0, level 1 and level 2. The level 0 account for the cloud users. User enter into the cloud web page. The cloud web page contains the cloud services and the pricing details of that service. The user enter into the login page. If the user is new user, he will be registered under cloud and then login into the cloud page. The provider check the username and password. If the password is incorrect, they show the invalid user and password. The username and password is correctly. The user enter into the cloud service. In level 1, we start the cloud server and then file uploading now user in the cloud services user select a file and upload to the cloud server file sent to the cloud server the cloud server receive a file the cloud server receive a file after a job scheduling in job scheduling the server check the performance of the virtual server and assign the process to the ideal virtual server the file sent to the virtual server virtual server receive a file and processing the file either encryption or decryption then store into the server Next, we start the remote server. The virtual server send the processing file to the remote server. Remote server receive the file and store into the remote memory. Now, you can see the demo of our project. This is the sample web page of the cloud providers. First, home page. In this page, the provider gives the detail of the cloud computing and its advantages and also the architecture of the cloud computing. In cloud computing, three architecture can be used. Application, platform, infrastructure as service. Next, pricing detail. In this page, contains the pricing details of the cloud services. About us page, having the details of the cloud services. Next we go into login. If you are the already user in the cloud services, you will enter your username and password and then sign in. If you are a new user to the cloud services, first you register on the cloud services. This is the registration form of the cloud services. First your name, next your organization name the cloud services having three plans you are choosing one which is comfortable to you and then can your country next address line enter your city name state name after that chip code Next phone number and then email ID. You fill the form after you accept the terms and condition of the cloud services. This is the terms and condition of the cloud services. If you are satisfied, then you enter your user ID and password sent to your email inbox. You will collect the username and password from your email and then login to the cloud services. Enter your username and password, then sign in. 
after you log in into the cloud services this page will be shown to you choose file you have start the cloud server before you uploading file to the cloud server the cloud server is started then upload your files file successfully transferred to the cloud server and then server receive the file the cloud server receive the file after we have going to job scheduling in the job scheduling the cloud server check the performance of the virtual server and allocate the process to the minimum performance of the virtual server before you check the virtual server's performance you will start the two virtual servers first you will check the performance of the virtual servers before you check the performance value check virtual servers can be started or not two virtual machines are started then check this is the performance value of the two virtual servers then schedule the after check the performance value of the virtual server then we start the two virtual server for receiving the file the virtual server one started and then we going to next for file receiving this is same as in server 2 after the two virtual server started for receiving file then we schedule the job to virtual server file has been sent to the first virtual server then you will check the first virtual server file has been received then you will click refresh this file is we have uploaded in the user side now click start the file processing is done in the virtual server and store into the virtual server and that the file has been sent to the remote server before you send to the file to the remote server first you will check the remote server is started or not now the remote server is started now we get set file to the remote server and store into the remote server now we can store the file into the remote server file has been successfully transferred to the remote server now the file has been received in the remote server after file receiving in the remote server we have doing the pricing analysis in the cloud server in the pricing analysis we have analyzed cost of the services in the cloud in pricing analysis we consider the file size and file execution time file can be executed in the cloud server depends on the file size and the cost of the service can be increased now click analyze the graph will be shown this is the pricing analysis graph we have considered file size in y axis and time in x axis thank you